Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to this product review of this, what I'm hoping is going to be a very good set of synthetic brushes from Artiscapade. Uh, now these brushes uh, in this pack, you get 15 brushes in total and they retail at $24.95 on Amazon. But you can get a discount on that uh, by watching till the end of the video. So, um, Artiscapade have sent me out these brushes. Now, I've only had very basic uh, use of synthetic brushes in the past, and I'm quite excited to see what these can do. But, um, there's all sorts of um, different um, bristle tips. Uh, and, of course, they do come in this wonderful little bag. And, of course, a thank you card. Uh, if you're not 100% satisfied, they will help you out they will sort you out with anything to make sure you are satisfied so this is a nice actually uh, bag uh, that they come in now there's 15 brushes in total so let's have a quick look okay I don't want to see in case I pull the protection tips off so there we go we've got 15 brushes in total We've got rounds, we've got flats, and we've got liners. And they've actually got this triangular, um, the very nice wood is actually, um, fully glossed, very, very lightweight. And uh, I'm interested to see how, how this actually, especially like I, I've got gigantic hands, like to see whether or not this um, actually helps me out. So let's see what brushes we've actually got. <clears throat> okay, so we've got four different types of brushes. We've got the liners, the rounds, the flats, and two spot colours as well. And they're in a variation of sizes. So the liners we've got from a size one all the way down to a four zero. Uh, the rounds we've got a zero down to a four zero. Flats we've got a one, a zero, and a two zero, and we've got a one and a zero in spot as well. So just having a look at the tips of these, the bristles themselves, like I've, I've found the synthetic brushes I used in the past tend to sort of clog together a little bit. This actually feels quite nice, very soft for synthetic. Um, and I think this is, this is quite a, a nice base brush. I would sort of put this at around the same size as a sort of size 2 Windsor & Newton maybe um, or a large base brush by Games Workshop so that that's going to be quite nice I think to get a lot of uh, base coats and blocking in so looking down to the 4-0 liner this is, this is nice and small actually this is very very fine I would put this on, on, on par with probably um, a 0 or a double 0 of uh, standard size brushes. Uh, I like that the bristles are so short. Uh, they're very clearly miniature inspired brushes. Um, and I think this would be really nice for getting those details in. Smaller things such as eyes or teeth. The round brushes look pretty cool. I've not had any experience with these, but I think these would probably be quite suited to wash. They look like they're quite thick and can hold uh, quite a lot of paint in them. So I'm excited to give those a go. And then we've got the flats. So I know Lucy likes flat brushes. But especially if you're painting sort of blades or something, I think this one would probably be quite well. It's not too thick, but when you look at the width, there's quite a lot of width to be able to paint uh, a lot of things on it, such as blades or big sheeting of metal or something along those lines. Uh, and of course, we've got narrower ones as well. Down to the 2-0, of course, you can still see the, the flatness there. Uh, and then we've got the spot, which I think would be ideal for like putting um, 
Pint and rivets and stuff and I like that it's actually quite short and stubby but if you look it's very very pointed so I'm quite excited to go and try these uh, I'm going to paint with them uh, for a couple of days and I'm going to come back and tell you my thoughts so I spent the night over on Twitch uh, painting up some Cruel Boys and this 3D printed uh, Vulture uh, and I got to use the brushes um, and I'm quite happy with the way the things have turned out. The only issue that I had with the brushes is that in this pack there is no large, like really big dry brush, uh, which is what I would have used on the wings here. However, uh, as you can see, uh, the eyes were surprisingly easy to do with the spot brush. Uh, now obviously these eyes are quite big compared to the orc ones, but... Um, the spot brush was was really good the short bristles on it uh, But the, the equally the stiffness meant that it was very easy to get the eyes in place So you can see there the bristles are actually um, Quite short on this, but they're reasonably firm um, they go to a very very fine tip um, at quite a deep angle so that uh, you can literally you know, if you, it's not like when you're pushing on the eye and your bristles are bending this there, sharp enough and uh, stiff enough to actually get the paint where you want it to go. Um, the round brush was really useful actually, uh, and I used this around the beak and the talons here. Um, it helped just get into all the recesses. The one that I did use quite a lot of though was, was the zero liner, was basically for the base coats. Uh, and I was able to get all of the flesh tones done on here with it. Uh, it was quite nice for getting the washes on. Uh, and I definitely felt like I had a lot more control over it than what I'm used to with bigger, softer brushes. Um, the small liner brush. Uh, so this one is the size 3-0. Uh, this one was for ideal uh, for painting all of the uh, wraps around the legs um, of these models. As well as actually basing in the uh, bronze and the silver colours on the oryx. Uh, it was even good to paint the teeth and the eyeballs as well on the shields. Very very nice um, firm brush and I felt like I had quite a lot of control. Um, I've never used synthetics before this so I don't know whether it's due to the fact that they are synthetic and they seem to have a little bit of stiff. I wouldn't say it's stiff, I would, I would definitely say firm. And I feel like I had more control of whether or not it was the um, the thumb and finger rest on the brush uh, that made me feel like I had more control. Especially with my, like, I've got gigantic hands uh, and these were really comfortable to sit in my hands. The flat brush, uh, the size 1 flat, was really useful um, for basically dry brushing across the top of the metals um, and even across the reds as well. Um... I, I like the, the flat width of it. I wish there were in the set that there was one of these, but bigger. Um, like I said, as a dry brush. Uh, this one, I feel, was a very nice size for what I was doing with the orcs here. Um, but it wasn't quite big enough uh, for the vulture to do the wings. So overall, um, after I painted with them for about two hours, uh, I'm pretty happy with them. They're really comfortable in your hands. Um, I get cramps quite a lot, obviously, because, you know, holding small brushes for quite a long time. You can see there, like, I, I'm, like, that's tiny in my hands. Whereas this, I definitely feel like I've got quite a bit of control over it. It's very, very lightweight. And one thing that I was surprised at, again, this might be due to my inexperience with synthetics. When you wash this in water, the paint tends not to, uh, to die or get stuck in the bristles the way that it does with a sable brush. Um, so I was quite surprised at that. Um, overall, I think for the price, these are a very decent set of brushes. Um, you probably get quite a bit of use out of them. Um, I, I'm really, really happy for, for the price that they are. I mean, you're talking around £20 for 15 brushes. Like, they're going to last you. Um, probably not. Like I, I doubt they would last like a year. But like if you're consistently painting every night... Um, you're going to get your use out of them. They were a very nice set. Um, uh, and of course, uh, Artiscapade sent me these to review. So thank you very much to them. Um, 
please check out the link in the description down below. You can click on the link to get a coupon to get 30% off uh, and you can order them through Amazon. Um, I really like these brushes and honestly I think I would use these as the bulk of sort of my base and lining and edge highlighting uh, going forward. I may still use um, my sable brushes for, for finer details or if I'm doing a lot more sort of detailed characters. Uh, but certainly for troops like this, I, I had no issue at all uh, using them and I'm very, very happy with the outcome.